Hi, welcome back to our lesson on Newton Raphson schemes. Last time we saw how to solve a Newton Raphson scheme for a function of one variable, that is to solve f of x equal to 0. We did df dt equal to minus f and then used forward Euler. and got f sorry, xn plus 1 minus xn over delta t equal to minus f of xn divided by f prime of xn. This is what we got for the scheme and then we put delta t equal to 1 and we got Newton Raphson that looks like xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn divided by f prime of xn. So now we are going to look at, we are going to extend this to simultaneous equations. So suppose I want to do the following. So example, solve y equals minus x squared plus x plus 0 0.75 simultaneously with this is equation 1 the other one is y plus 5xy equals x squared this is the second one notice it's called a simultaneous equation you cannot solve them independently we have to solve them together Okay, so that's why it's called a simultaneous equation. Just like we have simultaneous linear equations, we can also have simultaneous nonlinear equations. And you cannot solve them separately. Nevertheless, first step, rewrite them by moving all terms to LHS. That is, I'm going to define F1 of x comma y equals y plus x squared minus x minus 0 0.75 so that's 0 f2 of x y equals y plus 5 x y minus x squared and so I have to solve these two equations let us call them 1 prime and 2 prime the idea is very simple I am going to do df1 dt equal to minus f1, df2 dt equal to minus f2. Same forward, forward Euler. Okay. So the problem is cannot solve them independently. because the equation for f1 involves both x and y, equation for f2 involves both x and y. So that's why it is called simultaneous equation. Okay, so please remember that. Okay, so how do I do this? If I expand this, I will get the following. Uh, and if I, uh, if I expand this one, I will get df1 dt by chain rule is partial f1 with respect to x dx dt plus partial f2 with respect to x dy dt equal to minus f1. Same way, if I, if I do this one, I will get df2 dt equals partial f2 with respect to x dx dt plus partial f2 with respect to y dy dt equal to minus f2. Then write it in a matrix form. Partial f1 with respect to x, partial f2 with respect to x, sorry, y, partial f1 with respect to y, partial f2 with respect to x, partial f2 with respect to y times dx dt, dy dt 
equals minus f1 minus f2. Okay, this is now we are getting closer. This matrix is called Jacobian and is just the bunch of partial derivatives. For our problem, remember f1 is here, f2 is here. So, if I do the differentiation, I will get j equals, let us see, df1 dx will give me 2x minus 1, df1 dy will give me 1, this df2 dx will give me 5y uh, minus 2x, df2 dy, uh, df2 dy will give me 1 plus 5y sorry 5x. Can you see that? That is just the deriv partial derivatives. So, that is what this thing is. So, now we are going to write dx dt dy dt equals j inverse minus f1 minus f2. Notice the parallel with our scheme here, the derivative is in the denominator, here the derivative is j inverse, there is a minus f, there is a minus f and then right left hand side xn plus 1 minus xn over delta t dx dt dy dt. So, what we are going to do is we are going to call x equals x1, y equals x2 this will make a life lot easier f equals f1 f2 so everything is now vectors okay so now it's actually uh, so let me write this properly so i got the vector x x is a xy that's what we mean and then f is that so, now I will have a scheme which looks like x n plus 1 minus x n divided by delta t equals j inverse f. So, if I rewrite this, this will look like x n plus 1 y n plus 1 minus x n y n divided by delta t equals j inverse is df dx, df1 dx, df2 dx, sorry df1 dy, df2 dx, df2 dy, negative of that times f1 f2, inverse of this matrix, inverse does not mean 1 over the terms right, you have to invert the matrix. But that is our governing equation and this allows us to write x n plus 1 equals x n minus or delta t times j inverse f. This is the exact multidimensional counterpart of this equation. Okay? We are going to stop, we are going to uh, show you the MATLAB program in the next one.